do the super chat. Juan, thank yeah. you for the super chat, buddy. Five dollars, man. We appreciate it. How to choose the correct bypass filter in Mini DSP BW versus LR? Which DB per octave? Ah, Beyond okay. Me. I'm thank you for like, the super know. chat. <laughs> this is a Joe question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the bypass filter. I'm not sure what bypass filter means. Um, bypass to me means that you're not using it. So I don't know if he means something else, but uh, if you're talking about what crossover you would like to use for, let's say, your main speakers to uh, a subwoofer, typically what you want is a Linkwitz Riley, so an LR4. So uh, Linkwitz Riley uh, 24 decibel per octave slope. And the reason being is... When you have your your main speakers and your <laughs> your main speakers and your sub at 24 decibels per octave, then you get perfect summation, right? And in phase summation. So if it's if you have a crossover that's 12 dB per octave, it's out of phase. It's rotated 180 degrees. You don't want that. So mm -hmm. this uh, LR4, right? Linkwitz Riley. Uh, 24 dB per octave, rotates it 360 degrees. So it's back to where it, it was at the beginning. So it's essentially like, you know, not having that there. And so, so yeah, the that's what you want. The, you want them to cross over and you want the line that in between, you want mm -hmm. them to be like this. Uh, some of the other ones, what you might get is you might get a peak there, right? Mm -hmm. So you have them... But because of the, the type of crossover, you might get a peak. That's not what you want. Or you might have a, a little bit of a valley there. That's not also not what you want. You want it to, to continue. And you want it to be, you know, just a straight line, theoretically. But you the, again, so this is all theory. You still want to try it out and measure because you may find, for whatever reason, using a different crossover point, you know, maybe having one that's 24 dB and another one that's 12, 12. for some reason. It just works it, better. It's just working out. Yeah. So theory and, and practice, sometimes they don't, they don't, they don't line always, up. They don't always line up. And it could be but because maybe your, maybe your subwoofer already has a crossover. Or maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe your, your, your speakers, depending on whether they're sealed or, or ported, or, they're going to have a different roll off. Right. So one is going to be more steep than the other. So it, it all depends. Like all those things kind of uh, make a difference. So yeah, at the end of the day, you still want to just measure and see which one gives you the best result. But if you had to guess, kind of like what people are doing with their target curves, if you have to guess, 24 dB per octave. And if you have to guess the target curve, Harman target curve is a good guess. But you still want to verify. Hopefully that answers that. Yeah. Thank you again for the Super Champ one. Uh, Make sure to check out our audio-only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi-fi or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for daily hi-fi.